What's up, everybody? Fred with Game Blips here. Coming at you with an unboxing. Eh, not really an unboxing. More of a haul. A haul of uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, I haven't <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a long time. So, yeah, there's going to be a couple of things here. Might be a little bit of... Uh, a little bit. Just some... Yeah, a couple of minutes. But anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, I'm going to try and do this in the most chronological order as possible, but uh, there's so many things that I can't necessarily remember what was what at what time. Except for the stuff that I just bought today, so that'll be an easy one. <laughs> but we'll wait on that for the very end, because like I said, chronological order. Alright, so first up, let's go as far back as uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. So the uh, retro gaming uh, convention that happens pretty much every year, with this exception of a small gap that happened for it. Uh, I went there, uh, hung out with some friends, gave them a lot of uh, good moral support for set words, <laughs> the DJ set that they did there. Uh, also. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I have done their shows in the past uh, on this channel, on the Game Blips channel, live on Twitch, not on YouTube because of copyright. But, um, I have talked about them. Check out Subspace. Uh, really awesome dudes. Um, and Dudette. <laughs> Dudette. Uh, they, uh... They do a lot of uh, gaming stuff, industrial music, I mean, all this stuff, if you know me personally, is very right up my alley. But anyway, Midwest Gaming Classic. Huge dealer's room. Even then, I can't even call it a dealer's room, it's like a huge tent. Uh, luckily, for the past couple of years that I've been there, it's been uh, pretty good weather, and it has been freezing out, so the tent is uh, at a pretty decent temperature. But anyway, stuff that I picked up. Uh, I have a loose copy of Laser Blast that is technically not green, but that's picking it up. Uh, Laser Blast, love this game. Also picked up a full copy, complete in box, Mega Mania, but th that actually is green. Uh, Mega Mania. <laughs> uh, what can I say about this game? I, I like both of these, you know, shooter from the top, Galaga style Galaxian shooter from the bottom. And then uh, I also picked up, uh, not because I really wanted this game, it's more of the collector's item side of things, but uh, Too Human. I uh, didn't actually really know about this game until Kara mentioned something to me about it. Uh, how, because I was a fan of Silicon Knights, the guys that did um, not Resident Evil. <laughs> that would be Capcom. They did, uh, it's a very similar horror survival game on the GameCube. Um, oh geez. Sanity's Requiem, that's the, that's the subtitle of it, but I can't remember the actual one. Um, but anyway, that company, unfortunately this was the nail in the coffin for them. They had to close their doors after getting bought out, uh, and had a huge lawsuit about, uh, the game engine that they used. Uh, I, I picked it up because, mainly because of that. You know, some of the uh, the love to Silicon Knights. Uh, I'll probably play it in some form or fashion in the future on stream. But uh, but yeah, that was uh, those are the my, my majority pickups that I did for uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. All right, what's next? Uh... <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, much too much. Ooh. I hit the microphone. Good luck. Uh, much to my wife's chagrin, I started picking up some Nerf guns. Uh, mainly because... Uh, mainly because uh, this is... This is office... This is, a, this is categorized as office supply. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so, I have some new office supplies that I've been picking up. Uh, I started off with this one. Mainly because it's an easy one to work with, uh, just standard slide pullback, and then it fires, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, 
Six rounds. Revolver chamber. Things pretty cool. Uh, I ended up picking up an accessories pack for a different uh, a different kit, uh, which is the the red dot sight, which kind of works like crap because the little red dot in there would make me point like I think way up. It's it's definitely aesthetics. Uh, a flash suppressor. <laughs> Neat thing about this though, it, it's rifled, um, so I don't know really what it um, what kind of benefits the darts get, but I'm gonna mod this so that's on there. And then uh, front front grip, foldable front grip. I'm also gonna be modding this, so uh, that's gonna end up somewhere somewhere in this this vicinity. It's gonna look ridiculous. And then uh, I'm gonna repaint it so it looks like it's a uh, you know kind of like those modded Nerf guns that you see out on the web. Uh, so I did that, and I'm thinking, hmm, when I buy the stuff to do this, I'm going to have a lot of leftover materials. So I live essentially right next door to a Goodwill. And then I bought this bad boy. No, this is not see-through. This is actually yellow. I don't know why it's picking it up. But um, I got this bad boy. So uh, this thing is super ridiculous. It's huge. Uh, also, a, uh, a single shot live dealio what's it's but I'm gonna I'm gonna mod this one too there's a there's a switch on this I'm not sure what it does but there's a switch and uh, I put new batteries in it but I think probably because this was previously owned and definitely more than lightly used by some small child uh, at that part of it's just done not a big deal uh, this thing is gonna be awesome once I'm done with it uh, I don't know what other mods I can do to this I can put that red dot sight up here. I have done it, but I don't know. This thing holds a way more in this revolver. Uh, is it two, four, six, eight shots instead of six, so that's kind of cool. Alright, enough with the nerf stuff. Uh, somewhere in between there, uh, everybody knows that I've been doing Raspberry Pi stuff as well, and I got this case. It looks like an oversized Game Boy Advance. And once you peel off this protected thing on the plexiglass, there's actually, you can hear it, there's a, uh, there's actually a screen in here that I had pulled out from a previous project, and originally that was a uh, backup camera for, um, well, for a car, for a, back, you know, for a backup camera. It's a screen for it. Uh, originally I was going to use a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, between that time when I ordered it and when the, uh, this dropped, the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi Zero W came out, and so the W means wireless, so this is going to be a completely all-in-one contained uh, retro gaming system with wireless, so it's going to be able to play with like a second player controller uh, uh, over Bluetooth, as well as get updates for the operating system, or I can load additional ROMs on here. Uh, it's cool. I did a uh, I did a live stream on this. Unfortunately, some of it got muted because uh, somewhere along the lines, some of the music I used on there was uh, the background music was copyrighted, even though I didn't think it was. So I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. Check it out on Twitch if you want. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah, this thing's cool. I'm still waiting for some parts to come in from uh, DigiKey and uh, Adafruit. So. Uh, I can complete this. Most of it is just the uh, the guts, the buttons, and uh, some other parts like resistors and whatever and speakers. So that's going to be awesome. The the part one of the video has been up and running for a while. Uh, work wise, we do something called a uh, a hackathon. Uh, a lot of places call them like code jams and things like that. Well, in this case, a code jam is usually like a uh, like a one on one. Uh, like a tournament where you, all these co coders get knocked out by uh, whoever's code is better and things like that for a singular object objective. Well, the uh, in this case, they're teams, so we all get together, we innovate for a couple of days on something that we could use um, and provide for the company. You know, we there are no limitations. They say there's no there's no no uh, until we get to the very end where everybody does their presentations and 
you know, at that point, there are judges, they make decisions on things. So, the uh, reason why I'm talking about this is because at one of these, uh, one of these sessions, usually you just, you know, like, I coded for free for the company and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, which actually I do have, they're not lousy, because actually these shirts are sweet. Uh, but, uh, in this case, I ended up getting the basic starter kit for an Arduino Uno. It's the uh, R3 project kit. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. It's not just all the parts you get with it, you also get the Arduino Uno in it. So not only have I been doing uh, Raspberry Pi stuff, I'm going to be able to expand uh, my knowledge with, with uh, basic uh, microcontroller uh, projects. So I don't have to use like a Raspberry Pi, which has to load a complete operating system. In that case, it would be uh, Linux, a flavor of Linux that runs on there. Uh, my code can actually be specific for what I want on the, on this board instead. So I got some ideas. I got some things I might be doing very soon. Uh, I might be doing it live stream. Who knows? But I got that. Really happy because I was actually thinking about buying one and I got one for free. Alright, so let's bring it forward a little bit. Uh, I have been live streaming with Kara and Eric and Alex. Uh, I got, and I know everybody hates on this game, but for the price it's really good. The story mode's fun. Uh, and it was five bucks and I bought the Xbox One version and the one I'm holding here is the PS4 version of Battleborn. Uh, it is ridiculously funny. The dialogue is awesome. The game plays well. Uh, I don't I don't know why people hate on it so much other than the fact that it re was released parallel with um, uh, Overwatch which incidentally is free I think this is the uh, the one year anniversary it's free this weekend this is Memorial Day weekend so also happy Memorial Day uh, but um, yeah the game's cool it's really cool bought it at five below for guess what five bucks a piece so I spent 10 bucks on two games, one for each of my current gen systems. Um, hate all you want on it. The game is totally worth it for five bucks. It was probably worth it before that. All right, so that brings us to primarily today. Reach over here. All right, so as a lot of you know, I've got a Zim 4 for all my current gen consoles, so I can use a keyboard and mouse if I wanted to on a lot of different games. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, you're a cheater. You're a cheater. I don't see it that way. Uh, mainly because of the limits. If I push to the left, is me pushing all 100% to the left. If I swing my mouse as fast as I can, it's only going to be that limit to the left. Same thing to the right, up, down, whatever. That, and I'm not very comfortable with it at this point. But I do use it for my fight sticks because it gives me a lot better control over uh, uh, button assignments. I don't have to pull things open like I had to do last week. Uh, pull open my actual case and start pulling cables and putting them in the right spot. That was a complete pain in the butt. Uh, but anyway, I can use it for the 360 if I had a wired controller. I did not, until today, have any wired controllers. So, I've got this one, I picked it up at Goodwill. Um, I haven't fully tested it yet. I think it might actually be at Goodwill because it's broken. Uh, it doesn't light up when I plug it into the PC, but I haven't busted out my, my 360 yet to do a full test. But, uh, hopefully, keep my fingers crossed, this thing works, and I can use it for playing like Street Fighter 4, which I have on my 360, and other games like, uh, oh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, some of my other fighting games that I like, um, and actually use a fight stick, so keep my fingers crossed on this one. Pick that up today. Uh, just rewiring a couple of things, I needed some, uh, some headphone jack to stereo, pick those up, make noise, alright, and some uh, cool classic video games, videos, video games, um, I got classic uh, PS2. <laughs> Need for Speed Carbon. I liked this game a long time ago. I never ended up picking it up. I tried it like at a friend's house a long time ago. It's cool. I like it. I did it again. Uh, it's cool, and I like it. Um, what can I say? 
I like the racing games. <sighs> From an older part of my life, NPPL Championship Paintball 2009. Playing that on the Wii. Uh, it's a cool game. Never got to pick it up. Tried it out a couple of times. Another thing, I think I got this on Gamefly. Tried it out there, returned it, and ever since then I've always wanted to actually own this, but I didn't want to spend 30 bucks on it. Uh, Buck 99 over a Goodwill. Cooking Mama. <laughs> Betha said Mama. Uh, I picked it up. I'm digging it. I love it. Alright, so I think that's it with my haul. Uh... I'm going to try and keep up on these a little better. Uh, I have been slacking quite a bit. So, uh, videos. I really need to stay on top of my videos. I've always made promises of having at least one out a week uh, on the off days where I'm not streaming uh, schedule-wise. So, like, one for every weekend, be it Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Have it out on one of those days. Uh, streaming on Monday and Wednesday when we're doing multiplayer start an hour earlier because the rest of the game blips team is still in the Eastern Standard Time Zone uh, that unfortunately leads me to today I am well, recording uh, it is Memorial Day I totally forgot that it's Monday so my apologies uh, I didn't talk to anybody on the game blips group about um, streaming tonight Although, we should have been doing some Minecraft. Not a big deal. We're just going to get this edited up. I'm going to get it out for you folks. And there you go. So, and for those that are wondering, yes, this is actually my office for Game Blips. So, um, not a lot of people have seen it. I'm not going to do a full game room walkthrough. I'll probably do one of those videos later after I clean this room because it's a big sty. But I do have uh, some stickers from Ikea, you can see in the back there, I've got some uh, uh, video game arcade cabinet marquees, uh, all my stuff's kind of uh, separated out for you know, gaming nerdy books, um, I've got uh, um, handheld console stuff, I've got my VR stuff right there, uh, Wii stuff, it's all, it's, you'll get the walkthrough, that's probably a good idea too. <laughs> To, uh, get one of those recorded. Anyway, I think that's it. I've got everything that I've got uh, going on here. And should be all set. Alright, so keep an eye out. Um, the stream has been growing. It's uh, fun. <laughs> and, you know, we've... Uh, since I moved, I've also picked up a lot of uh, newer, newer friends, newer followers. So... Uh, you know, we've been uh, really doing a lot of new things when it comes to game blips, especially the, uh, the live streams of uh, the subspace sessions. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, Want to also point out um, this Saturday there is a Twitch meetup for Milwaukee. Uh, I do plan on being there at least for an hour. I do have friends coming in out of town for a different festival, so. <laughs> I got kind of double booked, so I need to be out at least an hour. I'm gonna if, if anybody is in the Milwaukee area, come and say hi. Uh, I'll be there. I should have some stickers, uh, some vinyl decals, things like that for the Game Blips name. Anyway, this is Fred with Game Blips, and we will see you on the next video.